Hey crafters, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to make a fun pull tab camera card with Two Can Do It. Hope you enjoy! So I'm starting with a piece of card that's slightly bigger than the camera die. Now the camera is from the Magic Iris camera add-on set. And I'm going to blend some Salvage Patina Distress Ink on the top half of this card. It's such a beautiful color. Now once I'm happy with where that ink is on my paper, I'm going to use some Peacock Feathers Distress Ink and I'm going to blend this on the bottom of the card. Now if you don't have uh, Peacock Feathers, you could always use a darker blue, but I find that these two colors work really well and it gives you a nice turquoise gradient. Now you can probably tell that this ink pad has been well loved, so it takes a little bit more pressure to ink blend with it. Now before I die cut with the camera die, I'm just going to heat set this to make sure it's completely dry, just for a few seconds. And then I can run the die through my die cutting machine. And I'll also die cut a little slot for the picture to come out. So now I'm going to use the grassy stencil to apply some grass on the bottom. And I'm just using some Distress Oxide for this, which will go nicely over the Distress ink. And this cracked pistachio is a perfect color for grass. Now using Two Can Do It, I'm going to stamp some of my favorite images on the front of this camera. So I'm going to start by stamping the branch on both sides of the camera. And then I can add in the toucan and some of the little butterflies. Now if you prefer you could always stamp these onto white card, die cut them and put them on top, but I quite like the effect of stamping directly onto the camera. Now because I used Distress Ink in the background, I can color these images with my Copic markers. If I'd used Distress Oxide, it wouldn't react well with the Copic markers. So I'm also going to take the picture, the photo frame, and this is from the Magic Iris Camera Pull Tab add-on. And I'm just going to stamp a little scene with one of the two cans and a branch. And I'll throw in a little butterfly there as well. So as mentioned, I'm going to color in these images using my Copic markers, and you'll see they work really well over the Distress inks. The only difference is the colors are a little bit muted. And you'll see in a moment, I'll show you the comparison between this toucan and the other one on the white card. Now I wanted to use black for my toucan, but I didn't want to lose the definition of his wing there. So I just colored most of it, and then used a white gel pen to outline where his wing is, and then colored the rest in. And once I've added some white details, you can see his wing and his shape is quite easy to distinguish. So once I'm happy with the coloring of the card, I'm going to use the little piece that should be the flash and put it behind the open area on the left of the camera and that just gives a little bit of sparkle. Now here you can see the comparison between the two toucans. I use the same Copic markers for both. Now I'm just going to tape together the photo frame and I'm just using double-sided tape for this. It'll keep it in place and I won't peel off the backing so that it will stay in one piece. And now you can see the finished photo that will come out of the camera. Now I'm going to use a piece of paper from the Watercolor Wishes paper pad. And this will be my background piece. And I'm going to keep it at six by six inches. And that will be my finished card size. So I'm just going to tape down the mechanism for the pool tab effect. And I'm also going to tape in the channel where I want the the photograph to move up and down and I'll die cut these. 
And I'll just trim off any extra bits on the top of that mechanism there until it's perfect. So I'm going to add in the channel piece that moves the photograph up and down. And I'll just add in the collar that goes around it. And I'm just putting double-sided tape on this. And then once I've adhered this to the card base using the same double-sided tape, I'll just test the mechanism to make sure it's working. Now I'm going to put the um, camera together first before I do anything else. So I die cut the lens cap with some black mirror card as well as some white card. And I'm just going to glue those two caps together so that the black mirror card is showing. And I'm going to add in those white pieces as the accent. And then I'll use the white mirror cap outline to be on the top so that I have a nice black mirror cap and a white outside rim around it. I love this black mirror card. It's great for um, this camera. It works perfectly. So I'll just put together that lens cap and tape it onto the back of the camera, just using some washi tape for that. And then I can glue the lens cap outline around the lens cap. And I'm also going to use that black mirrored card for the little shutter mechanism on the camera. And I'll use some uh, washi tape as well as glue to keep that in place. Now for my camera, before I add it on the card, I need to add some uh, foam tape on the back and just create a bit of a channel so that the picture or the photograph can go in the center. And then I'll add some double-sided tape to that pull tab mechanism. And I find that using double-sided tape works best for this just because it dries quickly and you don't need to wait for the glue to dry. Now if you're trying to line up the photograph it's easier if you put the bottom of the photograph onto the bottom of the pull tab mechanism. And then once that photograph is secure I'm going to slide the camera onto the card so that it goes through the slot. And I want to leave about a half inch on the bottom of my card. So I'm just going to move that camera up a little bit more so that I have room for my sentiment on the bottom. And then once I'm happy with the placement of the camera and my mechanism works, I can push it down so that it's completely stuck on my card. And now I can just trim off the extra bit of the pull tab mechanism and add the little arrow the, onto the top so that the recipient knows to pull the tab. And I just used the leftover inside of the camera, the salvage patina ink for the mechanism and a little bit of that mirrored black card for the inside. Now I thought that this card needed a sentiment so I die cut the word thanks from the Oliver stitched ABCs and I'm just going to glue them on the bottom of the camera. There wasn't enough room underneath it, but I quite like the quirky effect of these letters hanging off the bottom of the camera. So I put them a little bit uneven on the camera, which I think helps it look a little bit more quirky. And I really like the finished effect of this. So I'm just going to glue those into place. And now I'm going to add a few more touches. I'm going to use the stamp that says thanks on it. This is from the Big Thanks stamp set. And I'm going to stamp this in Enchanted Gold Pigment Ink. And this looks really nice on that background from the Watercolor Wishes paper. The ink is very sparkly in real life and I think I'll use it on the inside of the card as well. Now before I attach this to my card base, I'm just going to flip it over with the mechanism down and add some foam tape on the background. And once I've removed the foam tape backing, I'll put this on my six by six inch card and make sure it's nicely lined up. And on the inside of the card, 
I'm going to use a few stamps from the Two Can Do It stamp set as well as the Big Thanks stamp set. So I used one of the two cans and it says here's a two can of my appreciation and from the big thanks stamp set I used the word thank you which is in the center there. Now when I stamped this it didn't quite show up the thank you so I just stamped it again on top. And this pigment ink is quite forgiving so I don't think anyone would notice if you had to do this as well. That's the great thing about making a homemade card. You can always add little things in to fix your mistakes. So now you can see the finished card with the mechanism and the inside of the card that says, thank you, here's the toucan of my appreciation. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this video inspiring. Be sure to subscribe so that you're notified whenever I post a new video. Have a crafty day!